I'm gonna get high right now and Google some stuff and you're gonna watch it and hopefully learn things too, but I will forget everything I did. Welcome to Higher Learning. Cars. Folks, we're doing cars, not the movie. Are you kidding? Of course I want to keep racing. It's all fucking making itself work. Human ingenuity, man. Crazy. It's too bad it just kind of stopped at um, pooping the stuff out. Pooping, pooping the stuff, stuff out. The oil pump keeps oil properly pressurized. It gets picked up through these pipes down here, and this keeps it pressurized. I am not sober. I am a high person. I have therapy after this. <laughs> camshaft, the crankshaft is the bottom one. This guy doesn't know the difference between a crankshaft and a camshaft. Doesn't even know the difference. I do. Crankshaft, I'm gonna try to think about it. It's dirtier. It sounds like dirtier, like crank one out. So that's the low one, nearer, to, closer to if the engine had a groin. That's where it would be. Camshafts above, just chilling in the heaven part of the engine. Just like, oh, I'm fine. I'm not dirty. My name is Cam. So the thermostat regulates cooling. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. It's fucking literally explosions. Explosions are hot. Duh, hello. Don't need to do an episode on that. I blew a head gasket. I don't know what that means, but it cracks the block. I cracked the block. I also don't know what that means yet. Coolant channels surround the cylinders and ports in the engine block and cylinder head. Engine block. Okay. Did, 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 engine block. It must just be like the, what <laughs> is the engine block? So it's just like the, the, the fucking holder, the main part of the engine. <laughs> So I cracked that. No wonder that's expensive. So I just broke my engine and all those moving parts are going, what the fuck is happening? There's no support for our little fucking explosions. It just got too hot. And when it gets too hot, it fucking just breaks. Ah, it's so hot. Get out of here. I don't want, who, what, who is using the chat support? Is this just clickbait? What is this? What even is this? Consumer law. PA.com, attorneys at law. Hello, please enter your name and click start to begin. To begin what? Who poops in? What just happened? I'm just... Hello, I'm a chat operator for consumerlawpa.com. And my job is to find out what you need help with and see if, have, see if we have someone available. What should these best describes your situation? None. I'm trying to learn about cars. John E, please. My father failed me and I need you to be father. Please be father. Please be father. <laughs> John, no! Johnny, please, he abandoned me. Oh, Johnny. His name's Johnny. <laughs> Johnny, be good. Johnny was bad. Engines get hot. The cooling system of a car going down the freeway dissipates enough heat to keep two average sized homes warm. What? No wonder the world is fucking dying. It's so fucking hot. So much carbon dioxide, right? It's carbon dioxide. I should do a climate change episode. That one's just gonna get so, I mean, talk about, we're already, we're already dark all the time here. That's what the name, that's what the name of the show should be. Hello and welcome to, we're already dark all the time here. Okay, we're taking calls. And welcome back to hell. God, that joke's not funny. Antifreeze, I've heard of this antifreeze. Is the green liquid in your radiator, yep. Normally in a 50-50 mixture of coolant and water, it is designed to resist temperature-related changes like freezing or boiling. When the fuck was antifreeze invented? Who invented anti-freeze? Charles Adolf Wurtz. 
French chemist is credited with creating ethanol glycol in the mid 1800s. It was first commercially in dynamite manufacturing. Of course it was. Crazy, 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 crazy. I'm, I feel like I'm just scratching the surface. The radiator springs. That's a joke for all my cars, boys. Air flowing through the radiator over the fins cools the coolant in preparation for another cycle through the engine. <sighs> yeah, okay, I gotta read that again. Anyway, so then the air cools the coolant as it goes so it's just oh it's just being constantly used antifreeze the fuck and before that we just use water what did the old timers use before today's complex chemically compounded antifreeze coolant was invented in cold climates yeah thank you they used water in this country and pulled the drain plug every night then a teapot of boiling water in the morning to help get started my mom has a great story about a cousin of hers beating the hood of a model t with a teapot because it wouldn't start Remember these emoticons? <laughs> Fucking this. Hey, hello? Capitalism? Calm down for just a second. I'm trying to read this very cute chat forum. It's an extremely quaint corner of the internet. Let me just enjoy it for a second. Without you being like, buy this, buy this, buy this. Did you fucking buy it yet? No, I fucking did it. We're at Ford-Trucks.com. Oh my god, capitalism. Please. Just take a break for a second. So this is just on, on a Ford Trucks forum. I'm helping adult oppression. <laughs> this might be a common ad on this forum, but I doubt it. I bet that's, uh, that seems specifically tailored for moi. That's French for depressed. Crazy. What a, what a f Oh my God. set a bomb timer so I wouldn't go too far just down tangent fucking road did not think it would explode and cause me trauma uh Jesus anyway so that's the cutest corner of the internet that I'll ever find in my life probably so water they use water the alternator works like a generator converting the engine's mechanical energy into electricity to charge the battery or other electrical systems while the engine is running that shit is fucking crazy using the energy to make more energy how human is that how can we take this thing that's fucking cool and just make it fucking cooler that's what we like to do but eventually then that kind of eats itself and then we're just destroying the world muffler reduces engine exhaust noise okay sure sure Otherwise, it would just be fucking super loud. Right, when your parents say, oh, that guy needs a muffler. <laughs> you guys remember when your parents would say that? And you were like, yeah, the muffler makes the car quiet. What? I wonder if it like goes in here. I could, f I guess, here's the thing. There's so many things. Like I now understand how an engine works for sure. But holy shit, as I'm scrolling here, every little part, I'm like, well, how does that fucking work? How does the muffler make it quieter? It goes in this little room and it's like, shut the fuck up before you go out the poop place. You need to shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, gas, explosive gas. And then it goes, okay. What's going on in there? The cattle converter. That's a word of, that's a phrase I've heard. Helps reduce toxic chemicals in an engine exhaust. How does it do? How does a catalytic converter work? Cat catalytic converters use reduction oxidation and redox. That's a word? Oh, that's a portmanteau. You guys know about that? Portmanteaus? I know about portmanteaus. It's when you combine two words to make a new word. Reduction and oxidation. Uh, reactions to reduce harmful emissions. Use reduction. Like a wine reduction? <laughs> no, Paul. Definitely not. They use a reduction catalyst composed of platinum and rhodium. It helps reduce nitrogen oxides by removing nitrogen atoms from nit nitrogen oxide molecules. This lets the free oxygen form oxygen gas. The what? That does the what with the other what, and then it takes the oxygen and makes it oxygen? That's okay, see? And now we're above our pay grade. This I get, moving the thing, it forces the thing, and it moves it, and then we get the movement, and then the tires go, and they spin. This sentence I just read can go fuck itself. Uh, it helps reduce nitrogen oxides by removing nitrogen. Why am I still reading this? Sentence? Oh, this is all working together. 
model is a very simplified example of the basic science behind automotive gas engines. Even so, it looks pretty complex. It's no wonder that most of us, opening the hood feels like opening the door to another dimension. Thank you, website. I wouldn't say another dimension, it's more like opening it a portal into my insecurities. <laughs> Engine belts, fan, explosion, 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 moves these, which then moves this, which then moves this big thing, which moves the tires. And then the explosion poop goes out the ex exhaust manifold into the exhaust pipe, which goes through the catalytic converter, into the muffler, which then goes out the exhaust pipe into the world. Uh, and I know about cars, what's the fuck up? And yeah, that's how a car works. Honestly, braking. Oh fuck, braking. I don't have, that's not, I don't have time for that. We don't have time for braking. The car brake system works in a few ways. Your foot pushes on the brake pedal and the force generated by your leg is amplified several times by mechanical leverage. Pressure is transmitted equally to all four brakes. The force creates friction between brake pads and disco brake rotors, and which is what stops your vehicle. Wow, what's a brake pad look like? I always imagined it like a big pillow. It is definitely not that. So it's like a, a clamp on metal part of your the tire holder. That's what it's called, everyone. We all know that, everyone knows that. What are brake pads made out of? Steel, graphite, and brass bonded with resin. They're best suited for vehicles that are used everyday driving. Interesting, so yeah, no wonder. Again, another example of how your car is constantly <laughs> destroying itself. It's just exploding inside, and then it's making your wheels turn, and then it's just clamping down on those wheels, just going metal on fucking metal, just like, yeah, this is fine. And it is fine for a while, but after a while, it's really not, because it's just constantly decaying and breaking. And that's cars. I don't, I think we fucking did it. I, like, what else do I need to know? Obviously a lot more. It's like so much more. Thank you, father. This website is now my father. Anim, animagraphs.com. Everybody give your love to animagraphs. Let's hear it for fucking animagraphs. Yeah. I learned to trust myself. I found my father, John E is not good and is also not my father. Little explosions make us fast, but also make us die. Thanks for coming out. I learned a whole fucking shit ton of shit. Crankshaft, camshaft, catalytic converter. They all do the things that make the car car. So I think there's nothing else left to, to say, except uh... Thanks for watching. Uh, it's been a hell of a time. We are uh, here, here at How Higher Learning. Uh, we don't take anything for fucking granted, and we learn that life is a goddamn fucking highway, and it's about the fucking journey, and it's about how we learn together, and not about the fucking destination. Have a good one. Hey, Lightning. Great race, man. We'll see you the fuck later. Here we go, folks. Life is a highway. I'm gonna ride it all night long. Jesus Christ, what am I doing? Again, thank you for watching, as always. I hope this was good. I actually really do feel like that I learned something, and I really hope that you did too. So that's kind of a cool learning. So please, again, donate to those organizations. Let's stop the drug war. If we all don't actively do something about it, then nothing's gonna happen. Donate to the links. Thank you for watching. Uh, peace! If you're going my way. I have to end it now. It's done. Goodbye. See you later. I'm over. It's over. Pretty fucking funky.